So I finally made it to the shop and uh, we got the step side in here. Well, so as you can see, it did end up firing up. Uh, unfortunately, I really didn't get that on film only because I had a lot of technical difficulties. Uh, actually, I was trying to get it running outside and I was cranking it and a bunch of grounds uh, started frying over here just uh, everything's got to be redone there's a lot of a lot of grounds and stuff with smoking and um, couldn't get any spark out of it and uh, it had a stupid MSD box right there so there was some wires unhooked and uh, just kind of a mess of wires over there and just couldn't get any spark out of it so we ended up pushing it in and uh guy that owns this car right here, old purple Monty One, jumped right in there. He was right in the engine compartment and uh as you can see here. So he jumped right in there and uh just put in a uh stock distributor, just uh hooked it up the old regular way with the HEI one hot wire and uh, she lit right off just got the old gas can to run it with just got my little electric pump running and uh, she's there I just uh, the fuel filter just disintegrated when I touched it so I just ripped that off of there and uh, there's nothing in the tank at all it's totally dry so I'm not really gonna I don't really want to put any gas in there till I see what's really going on but I'm gonna show you a few things uh, about the truck and uh, what I gotta do and gotta decide whether it's gonna be a project for me or uh, I don't know or just a part out but they are getting rare to find the step sides and uh, to do what I gotta do this has to come out so I'll show you that so the rocker panels and stuff are pretty clean the cab corners front fenders this one door chewed right off but I do have that remember I have that driver's side door from that blue suburban that I stripped um, frames you know it's scaly in the back um, but it's not rotted through anywhere back there the wooden uh, wooden bed floor needs to be replaced and uh, you know you could see that's why he got those other fenders because they're rotted on the inside there and uh, you know you got some blistering back here and stuff like that it does have a posi in it probably gonna pull the cover off and just kinda see you know what it's got in there and what gears it has and stuff like that just to know what I got See the uh, uh, wooden floor rotted through right there. See, just for running it a couple minutes, that's why it was so loud. Exhaust just right off, just fell right off. He said it had a B&M tranny, but I'm thinking it looks like the stock 85 tranny, uh, just because it has that. Uh, that electrical connector right there uh, that was for like a, an 85 they tried to do like an emissions thing with a lockup converter and stuff like that but uh, what he probably meant was it's got a B&M shift kit in the tranny I imagine and it's got a you know fancy chrome pan on it got a gold moroso pan on the motor 
The headers, uh, just, you know, surface rust, they're not too bad. Probably be saved. We ended up pulling the uh, starter out when we were diagnosing and touched the tranny lines right there. They started leaking. But I'll show you the main part on why the guy parked his truck. Last time he, last time he went to go get a sticker, the guy said, "Well, your front uh, whole engine cradle, control arms, and everything is getting a little thin." Well, yeah, he was right. It's actually broken right there. You can see all kinds of holes through it, and uh, control arms themselves are uh, very thin. See there the hole. Not too bad on this side. Well, you can see right there. Um, but that's why there was a hole. This whole front end uh, was sitting on the ground in front of the truck. We had to move it. It's actually at my buddy's house right now because his truck, uh, he had a Dakota, so it was lower to, to load it in there. And... Uh, so that's why that's there and that needs to be put in so that's going to be a little bit of a project um, but considering the condition of the rest of the truck you know uh, I think it's worth it see the rocket panels are beautiful I mean the stuff's probably been replaced but it's all been done right cab corners are nice those uh, the steps on both sides are brand new see the nice new bolts in them and everything so see the uh, interior's got the old uh, cracking in the dash and uh, you know the seats a little ripped up over here and stuff but the floors are solid and everything else is in pretty good shape Got the sliding rear window and stuff. So you're probably saying, quit with the blabbing and just fire this thing up. I want to hear it. All right. I'm going to get it fired up. And uh, it's going to be loud because of those, uh, those headers and stuff. But the motor sounds pretty healthy. It's definitely got a cam in it. And it definitely has some Harlan Sharpies, roller rockers. So uh, maybe that old guy wasn't lying when he said it was a 400 horsepower Corvette motor. Well, sounds pretty good though. Let's hear it.
So yeah, that old carburetor is, uh, you know, pretty gummed up and stuff. So, you know, it took a little bit to get the gas flowing through there, but definitely sounds good. You can definitely hear a little bump in the cam and uh, sounds pretty healthy. Doesn't look good, but definitely sounds good. That's all that matters. Shit. Better not happen. Evacuated the mice and the squirrels from the exhaust. Lots of acorns. So I guess the old uh, roof decided to give up, and uh, yeah, she's leaking right through. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Filled with water. Water everywhere. Yep. Gotta clean this mess up. Yeah, here's that. Uh, first of all, we got a brand new tail light for the step side. GM. Nice. Here's that B&M blower that was in the truck. Kind of bolted it together. Got everything that goes with it. Got the belt and everything. Some uh, new gaskets and seals and stuff. And uh, been doing a little research. Looks like a pretty good unit. I think it's a 144 they call it, but there's no markings on it anywhere. This is that uh, MSD that was in it. Junk. Now this is what I thought was a uh, Auburn Posi for the truck, but it turns out if I just would have read there, this is the factory diff that was in it. So that's junk, but I'm assuming by that it has a Auburn Posi in it. Not sure of the gears, but we'll find out. Yeah, I still have those uh, Impala SS headers for the LT1. Came off the wagon. A couple of guys uh, messaged me and said they are interested. They wanted to buy them. Haven't heard from them, so I don't know. Maybe I'll paint them up, put them on eBay. Let me know if you need them. They're uh, they're over four hundred dollars, brand new. Give me a couple hundred bucks, take them. They're not rotted. They're solid, just surface rust. why the rent here is so cheap. Got a nice wet floor, wet parts. Good thing there's lots of grease on everything. See uh, down there is that, uh, that's the pulley for the uh, supercharger. And also there's the little tensioner pulley there. So uh, yeah. I had it on there for a couple years and uh, I don't know don't really know the reason why he took it off but uh, yeah it's got a regular intake on it and stuff now at Brock so might uh, pull this out of here put the truck outside till the spring so I can mess with it a little more and decide if I want to mess with it maybe get that motor cleaned up and uh, make like a little test stand or something I can have over here and uh, we could put the supercharger on it and stuff and kind of like dial it in and fire it up so uh, yeah might be kind of fun so that's it for now and uh, at least you heard the old step side fire up sounds pretty healthy until next time.
see you on the streets.